I need to find that secret loot, that secret place, those secret structures in Minecraft! Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is Joe, that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today we're gonna be taking a look at generated structures that have secret items inside of them. They're hidden from you. You don't know where they are, you have to go search for them. Uh, so these uh, structures are all around your Minecraft world and you have to go out and find them to get the loot that is inside. And first we're gonna talk about one of the oldest generated structures in the game of Minecraft, dungeons. Dungeons will spawn anywhere in the overworld. There isn't a certain Y level that they need to be below. They could spawn way up in the air or way down below. There are some factors which makes them, uh, which the game will check for when it generates a dungeon, like making sure that there's a floor area that's filled with blocks and a ceiling area that has blocks on top, and that sort of thing. And then it will uh, generate the dungeon inside of there. You know you found a dungeon when you're caving when you come across cobblestone instead of smooth stone. Did you place that cobblestone there? I didn't think so. Uh, the floor is also covered with mossy cobblestone and before the Taiga update this was one of the only ways you could get mossy cobblestone in the game which made it a very rare block indeed. Each dungeon has a spawner in the middle of it to of course protect chests. There's up to two chests in each dungeon. Chests contain a variety of loot and junk from some sort of things that you might have a lot of like gunpowder and string to things that are very rare indeed like golden apples and name tags or horse armor. All of these items can be found inside of the dungeon chests. Moving on to abandoned mine shafts. Abandoned mine shafts are a lot of fun because normally they spawn underground and you're able to run through them, light them up, and see ores in the wall without having to dig them out yourself. There's also a great place to get string if you are in a string fix because there's cobwebs all over the place. Just use your sword to break them. Abandoned mine shafts can be incredibly huge with stairs, corridors, crossings, all sorts of things to get your Minecraft adventure flowing. Uh, the things that you can find inside of an abandoned mine shaft include bread and seeds. You can find diamond, gold, and lapis in these chests as well. No apple, no golden apple, and uh, there's only a few, there's only one horse armor, actually, you can only get the iron horse armor in these chests in the abandoned mine shafts. Next is the stronghold. The stronghold is how you finally beat the game by destroying, beat the game. You actually do beat the game. You go to the end of the game and fight the dragon. Uh, this is the place where you will find the end portal to fill in the end portal blocks with eyes of ender and then go to the end. Inside of the stronghold, this is built out of cracked stone bricks and mossy stone bricks. This used to be the only place that you could get these items just like with the dungeon, but Crafting recipes have been added to the game since the creation of the Stronghold. Strongholds have tons of variety when it comes to the different rooms that are inside of a Stronghold. There's weird bridged tunnel things and areas with fountains and rooms that have libraries in them. Great place to get books and cobwebs as well. And chests around that have loot in them. These chests include iron and gold as well as apples and enchanted books. They don't really have an awful lot of super premium things like diamonds or golden apples <laughs> or name tags, uh, but they are kind of a nice little pick-me-up once you have found the, uh, the stronghold. Now, normally finding the stronghold is a little bit of an end-game thing, and this is one of the only things that you can find using an in-game mechanic. Using the Eye of Ender, if you right-click, it'll float up into the air towards the st closest stronghold next to you, so you can find a stronghold yourself. And last, 
Is there another one? Is it like a mini quiz? What's coming up next? Well, the Nether Fortress. You have to go to the Nether to get to it. Did I trick you? Did you forget about the Nether Fortress? The Nether Fortress is super useful in brewing potions because this is where you get your Nether Wart. This is also where you get Blaze Rods and the cobblestone you can probably get from the overworld. Nether fortresses are very, very large as they have humongous hallways that will be above lava or into nether rack. They're really, really fun to explore. Lots of staircases and rooms and balconies for you to run all around inside. The chests inside of a nether fortress include diamonds, iron and gold ingots, gold swords and golden chest plates, Think of this almost as uh, zombie pigmen items that have been left around inside of the nether fortress and uh, all of the different types of horse armor. The nether fortress is also the only place where you can get wither skeletons to get wither skeleton skulls to make the wither. So you have to find this type of dungeon in Minecraft if you are going to fight the wither or if you're going to brew potions. Really, really a cool dungeon. And those are the dungeons of Minecraft. You might be saying, wait, what about villages? What about temples? Well, those are different things. Those aren't dungeons. You, what are you thinking? So we're gonna cover those next week. We're gonna talk about uh, the temples of Minecraft. Villages, we just hope that you just find and can figure out on your own. So look forward to next week's video on temples. Also, all of these dungeons cannot be found anyway, except for going out and exploring. Of course, with the exception that I've already stated that the stronghold can be found using the Eye of Ender. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. I really hope you learned something. Listen to it, listen to me banter about stupid stuff. And I hope that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash OMG Craft. If you liked this video, give it a like or subscribe to the channel for future episodes. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.